just hanging out playing some D&D based game called Low Magic Age. That sounds interesting. Yeah, Phil. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, I don't know what's going on fully, but I like it. All right, we're going to go down. We're on Dungeon 5. We cleared it. How much cash do I have? 93? Okay. The Hiss of Flowing Sand. So there is a... Um, Yeah, I can only imagine. It seems like one of those books that just... has a wide swath of influence. The whole, like, what, other five books in the series or something like that? Alright, where are you? Here it is. We found it right away. That's fortunate. Okay. I'm gonna get this and... Um... I'm actually going to kill this scorpion before I go inside, just so I don't come out and have to fight him in case things go badly. And I'm, like, near death. Oh, cool. Phil, that's awesome. A roguelike party-based tactical turn base. <laughs> I like all those words you're saying, Phil. Mummy. All right. Let's just get our MP back. I see. I was reading a little bit on Wikipedia about it, and I guess um, the author initially planned it to only be a 40,000 word novella and it just started like going out of control he just kept writing and writing and writing all right here comes this hobgoblin zombie we got him yeah he gene wolf did only die a few years ago and um, he lived to like 86 or something pretty insane uh, for a, a guy of his stature. This human zombie is not being nice. All right, fire magic level two. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where's my shield at? Um, let me just turn shields off at... Uh, at skill level four for bucklers and call it a day. You know what? I should probably just not die with an enchant armor scroll. So let me enchant uh, my boots. Get myself that sweet 11 armor class. Oh, here comes the money. Oh, is this real? Wow. Yeah, I was wondering why my armor class didn't go up, Snack. That's, uh, that's a good point. Professional tips. There we go. 13 armor class. <laughs> IBK, what is up? I know, gosh. You know what's even more? That That's just me trolling the game, guys. Don't you understand? I'm just trying to troll the game by enchanting an item I'm not wearing in my inventory. Those are next level moves. Um, so now we ended up getting a bunch of money. And I could go buy that robe. Nick, man, good morning. How you doing? Let's get out of here. And let's go up. Actually, let's just go to my shopping list. And go here. And go in. Oh, Nick, man, we did win with Tengu. It was nerve-wracking, but we did it. Actually, I can say this now that it's over, but 
for the Tengu, Zot 5 and the Orb Escape were actually pretty tame. All of Zot, I think I only encountered two, maybe three Orbs of Fire. It was very, very low, mercifully. And I had a pretty easy path through the lung to the orb. So, I'll take it. It sure does. Say, and normally, I used to do that all the time, sandbag scrolls. But anymore um i just hate to die with it in my in my bag all right we're gonna buy this robe we're gonna try this robe on or what kind of robe is it um it's a plus zero robe of willpower which is what i was talking about it's actually so it's better than our current robe um because look at my will uh it's horrifying so i'm gonna put on this new robe I like that brand. I, it's red too. It's great, and we can enchant it up pretty easily. I would imagine. Wand of digging, take it. All right. Ooh, there's a cloak too. Well, aren't we just filling out the full paper doll? Oh, thank you so much, Nick, man. You going for that uh, gold party hat? Boom. Spellcasting, level 9. Ecumenical, schmeckumenical. Let me look at myself. Um... I still like where I'm at. 16% Bolt of Magma. Really good. Uh, let me identify these potions. Mutation. Yeah. It's just worth a lot of money. There we go. Oh, wow. Nick, man, that is so generous. Thank you for the sentiment, my friend. Fashion Souls is the secret. Now, you look like you've been getting torn up in Crimson Vow like I have. I don't know what you call... Um, the fashion in XCOM 2, but it might be some of the best fashion in gaming history in terms of customizable characters and awesome appearance. Alright, so I have a question for you all. Here we are, level 9. Fashion combat is a good one. It's a character creator game with a strategy game attached. I know, isn't that funny? They made, like, the best character creator, and then they just happened to tack on a really excellent strategy game. What a win. Oh. All right. Saint, take care. Tell Sarah what's up. Take her off mute. Now, here's the deal. I reached level 9. So the question is, what do I want to do? Do I want to pump strength, intelligence, or dex? My intelligence is massive. It makes sense to go intelligence. Um, but if I want to wear heavier armor, I might want to boost my strength a little bit at some point. Maybe I wait until, like, 12th level to do that. I don't know. I don't know what your guys' path is with a caster. If you ever raise strength, if four strength is good enough for a three rune victory or not. 
Hey, hey, crispy bacon. What is up? Elder Scrolls do have some... Four strength is fine. All right, well, let's just be really smart then. Um... Oh, yeah. That's the thing, right? You can't get your strength sapped that quickly. So I don't have to worry about going down to one and getting massive penalties. Or below one, for that matter. Yeah, you can make in... Ooh. Uh... In Elder Scrolls, you can make some hilarious characters... In Elder Scrolls and Demon Souls, I've seen some of the ugliest characters that you could possibly imagine. It's pretty funny. I like people that intentionally try to make the ugliest character faces in games. Some of the screenshots that I've seen are just hysterical. Alright, we're going to fight through this bush. It's going to take a while. But I bet there's something back here. Oh, it's just crazy. It's our good buddy. We were just talking about you. He's got a plus two cloak and a artifact mace. <laughs> You've seen some nightmare fuel from Cyberpunk. Actually, that's a good one too. Cyberpunk is Cyberpunk lets you go full nude if you want to. So there's that. Rianu Keeves? I haven't seen that. That sounds sweet. A spiffing bit. That's awesome. I I mean, I'm never going to use the mace, so it doesn't matter. It could be a stat stick or something like that. It is a plus two cloak. But the man does have a brutal weapon on him. Can I open the door and confuse him? Like, how many hits do you think he's going to get on me with that? Actually, you know what I can do? Um, well. I was going to say I could just prep a teleport, but I don't have a teleport. I'm a man without a teleport. All right, I'm going to do this. All right, we just killed him with Searing Ray because Searing Ray. And I don't think I got anything bad. Nope, okay. Where did he get the cloak? Sorry, buddy. I, I hate to kill that guy, but... Well, well... I mean, plus eight dexterity, it's the dream we've all wanted, and resist corrosion, actually. Hey, Andrew, what is up, my friend? How's it going? Let's get it. Let's wield this thing. It doesn't really do anything for us, but it does give us a bunch of dexterity. And resist corrosion. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm never going to swing the Venom Dagger. It was a good pickup, like, on Dungeon 1. But at this point, I'm going down with my spells. All right, we got a white. Here it comes. It's dead. It's been killed. It's another white. It's a dead one. Oh, there they are. Oh, that's a lot of them, actually. Yeah, I bet some whites could have pretty reasonable robes. That would be nice. I'll take it. Um, I'm going to back up and just kind of stand on the stairs and... Hope that Searing Ray can just get the job done here. Yeah, it did. It did, Searing Ray. They unfortunately didn't have good robes. They had 
some okay weapons. But that's sad. Ooh, there's a spell book. Ooh, that's a sky beast. All right. Um, yeah, sure, Bap. Bap, can you be poisoned? Uh, yes, you can. All right, so you um, did that. I'm just going to put this, like, right there. And let me... Got it. Killed it. All right, so Rue is ready to give us a sacrifice, so let's go see what this is all about. Sacrifice, experience, resistance, artifice. I took resistance last time with my Rue victory, and it's brutal. I think it's both minus fire and cold. Let me look at this. Let me look at experience. Oh, max level goes down? I don't know about this. It gives you a bunch of Rue Piety, which is cool. But max level... Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not excited about this. You like it? You don't think that the, uh... The... You think the max level is negligible? I suppose you're right. But it... It doesn't hurt your skills, right? It just hurts your experience. How does it work with this st the uh, stat that I took at level 9? Is it going to take the intelligence away? Oh, that's interesting. So you lose the ability to get the stat at 27th level, but I get to regain a stat up at when I hit level 9 again? That's not bad. Honestly, I think at this point, I'm on, I'm only on Dungeon 6. I'm, I feel like this character is overpowered for Dungeon 6. And so, um... I think I could take two experience levels off and be able to catch up because I have such a good set of spells. The other thing is, um... I don't want to take Artifice. I love being able to evoke stuff. Yeah, so you lose out on some hit points and willpower. I mean... But what about the, uh... The spell levels? Do you lose the, uh... The extra spell levels, or do you get to regain those? And it's a it's a net. It's not a huge deal. It's only two, but it's interesting. All right. Um. Yeah. All right. No, I. I don't want to take... I'm going to look at it, but... Yeah, this is so bad. It's a big sacrifice, though. I always do love Terracotta Crispy. I'm excited to see the finished product on your floor, Crispy, when it's all set out there. Alright. I haven't done experience before. Let's do it. 
Seventh level. Did you have to replace the subfloor? Because of the water damage? Okay, um, so now I can draw out power so I can heal my body and restore my magic. That's actually pretty sweet. No, exactly. It's crazy that the seal on the toilet at the bottom where it connects to the sewer is, or the, you know, the main sewer pipe is just wax. Yeah, new subfloor and joists. Wow, that's a serious job, dude. It's just a ring of wax, and it just sits there forever. Or at least that's what I used. Okay. Let's get some experience. One, one. One. Oh, there was a spell book up there, too. Did I pick that up? I got Ignite Poison. Isn't Ignite Poison the one you can get and combo with Toxic Radiance? Like, you can poison the whole screen and then blow them up internally? Now, I don't know... I also got Orb of Destruction, it looks like. Wow, Crispy. Yeah, you could save so much money if you're handy. It's crazy. So I have Spellforge Servitor, Orb of Destruction. Um, I have some really, really good spells here. Not to mention Ignition. So let's go ahead and learn Ignite Poison. Ooh, blink. Yes. All right, so we just got blink, too. Goodness gracious. Look at our spells. Look at this. Look at this list. I mean, magic dart, searing ray, mephitic cloud, toxic radiance, bolt of magma, poison vapors, ignite poison, and blink. Nothing above fifth level, but for right now, we are cooking. Another spell book? Inner Flame? Well, I don't know about that, but... Alright. There's been a lot of skeletons this game. I've been fighting a lot of undead. Polymorph. Let me look at my skills. Almost there on shields. I'll, once shields are done, I'll turn on evocations. Get that going. Cause fear might not be bad. Yeah. You always do need those emergency spells. Alright. And that guy's poisoned. Oh, that's right. Ice Beast doesn't care about poison. I always forget that. Oh, really? Oh, once I get a new spell level, I'll go there for sure. Helmets all over the place. We found a piece of Zom's chessboard. Yeah, let's use that. Mm. Ooh, teleportation. That's a good one. All 
All right, and let's go ahead and identify some potions. Potion, the curing. <laughs> hey, Safid, what is up, my friend? I know, I'm with you, Safid. Like, my brother is super handy, and I am not. So I always give mad props to people who can do their own home repairs. Let's see what's going on here, shall we? We're going to go down. Oh, yes, there's the money. Amnesia. Amnesia is actually nice. Take it. Oh, howler monkeys. Howling. Scythe. Ooh, amulet. Amulet of reflection. I don't think I have an amulet, do I? I don't. It's good for now. I'll take it. Put it on. Put on the amulet of reflection. Bam. Watch my shield skill skyrocket. White. Man, what am I doing? Missing this guy? Non-stop? Come on now. Hey, dude, don't blast me. Alright, I gotta go after this one. My, uh, my MP is a little, a little low. There we go. I guess I could always ask Rue for some magic points. Then again, max HP, uh, not wise with my deep elf. I know. Isn't that nice of him? He was like, I don't want to use it. Oh, that's a big enemy. I need to fight that guy from further away. All right, here's what we're going to try to do. I'm going to try to, first of all, confuse the guy. But that's not very likely. All right, so let's poison him. Now, can you guys remind me? He has... Right now, he has two pips of poison on him based on the icon in the upper right corner of his tile. When is the best time to uh, ignite poison? Like, you want to put as much poison on them as possible? Or does it not matter? All right, he looks really sick. Like, if I go over him, it says um, he's very poisoned. So if I then cast Ignite Poison... Um, okay, it does more damage than letting it run. All right, then let's just do it. Uh, it's G. Oh, got it. Like, it nearly blew this guy up. Yep. Yep, we just aced that guy. So, what happened there was I used Poison Vapors... Um, yeah, he was as sick as possible. So I used Poison Vapors, and then I started Toxic Radiance, and then I ignited Poison. It, it did a bunch of damage, and Toxic Radiance was still going, and so it poisoned him again, and I just ignited that and killed him. And that was a red two-headed ogre. And I took a, a two-level tank for Rue, and still just obliterated that dude. That's what happens, I guess, when you get really lucky, uh, where, you know, I have a Ring of Wizardry, a 27 Intelligence, and I got a really nice set of spells with this character so far. Okay.
Oh, wow. That's a ton of damage. 